I've managed to grab Gavin Lorena on a beautiful morning at Turfentine Racecourse just to chat about his rides on Thursday the 25th of April at the at Turfentine Inside Track. Gavin, you start in race two. It's a maiden juvenile plate over the 1,200 metres. You ride for the Johan Jansen van Furen stable, a horse uh, chestnut bomber. Yeah, he's nicely drawn. Um, on debut, he was very green. 1,000 metres was way too short for him. I think running over this, uh, the course and distance, he's, he'll be able to, to muster the speed and, you know, be in the race. I st still think he's going to need a bit further, um, but he, I think he's always to follow, you know, for the future once he once he gets over a bit of ground. Then in race four, it's a maiden plate over the 1,200 metres. You ride bad medicine for the Johan Jansen van Feren stable. Yeah, he's not well drawn. Um he got gulded, I think, probably the next day of these of these first start. Um, so he hasn't had like the ideal prep. It's been a bit of a rush, but he's a lovely horse. Um, he gave me a nice feel first time out. Uh, he ran a nice second with me. A tricky draw eight, um, but I think if we can break well, I think he'll, he'll be competitive. Then in race five, it's a MR ninety six handicap over the one thousand meters. You ride for the Johan Jansen van Feren stable. He's got three runners here. Um, you riding Karangatang. Yeah, he's got three runners. Mr. Winner's got four runners. Um, I've taken the ride on Karangatang because he's, I think, the class of the field. He's got a lot of weight to shoulder, 61 and a half, but he's a, he's a strong horse. Um, last time I was very concerned about the 1,200. Uh, I think it's obviously too far for him, the 1,200, and he, he ran a nice fourth. Um, I don't think that inside track is his ideal track, but I think he's going to run a big race. Um, I think he'll be much better suited to the 1,000. Um, I think he's got a good chance, but I think all our, our runners are, are, are live runners. Um, when the wa water is looking really well uh, at home, he's well drawn. Um, you know, I wouldn't leave him out of it. And Rainbow Reward now is third run after rest. I uh, also wouldn't leave him out of anything. Uh, his horse set's coming on nicely. And then obviously I won on Dreamland. I've won two in a row on Dreamland. Um, he's well drawn. He's going to love the 1,000 on the inside track. He ran second to time for Orchids over the course and distance. So I think uh, all Mr. Werner's horses, <laughs> I think you should include all of them. Then in race six, it's your last ride. It's a Phillies and Mares 90 handicap over the 1,600 metres. You ride for the Robbie Sage stable, Cape Lights. Yeah, um, probably the, she's the class of the field. Uh, she's got the weight to shoulder, 16 and a half. It's a very awkward draw over the course and distance. Uh, but I think if I can get her into a, into a good rhythm, hopefully midfield somewhere, uh, she's a very honest filly. Her, her form... You know, shows you she's honest, she always gives of her best and hoping for a positive run. Wishing you all the best for Thursday and thank you for your time. Thank you very much.